It was a ceremony not like others. Zhang Jike moves out of the usual air-conditioned and sophisticated hall to the forest where he defended his doctoral thesis on sociopolitical science focusing on man and his environment. In the presence of an international jury chaired by Professor Charles Binham and the pygmies given the right to take part, Zhang Jike defended his idea. This was during the early hours of midday on June 5, 2016, in the middle of the equatorial forest of Bibindi in the south region of Cameroon. The researcher, after 27 years of hard work, proved to all that the pygmies of the Bakula and Bagili clans, alongside their neighbors, the Bantus, all from the Grand Zambi, were neglected and their natural resources massively exploited. My work uh, about pygmies population is of a uh, consequence of deforestation in the quotidian life. He made mention of the massive exploitation of the equatorial forests, which he condemns and added that if care not taken, these pygmies who depend on the forest for their livelihood would be pushed to their doom. A remark approved massively by these autotons of the forest present who in turn solicited government intervention while demanding that they be included also in decision making and not marginalized. One aspect of solution for this problem is to implicate big needs for the global for the whole decision. His arguments could not be evaluated otherwise by the jury. De nos illustres mains, ce papyrus de légitimation que vous confère le jury international réuni en forêt ce jour pour votre reconnaissance et votre élévation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci à tous les membres du jury. Merci à toutes les populations Bakola Bagheli et voisins Bantou. Merci mesdames et messieurs les autorités traditionnelles, politiques, administratives. It should be equally stressed out that this would not have been possible but for the unmeasured aid from the International Center for Research and Documentation on African Traditions and Languages, said the Tola, that made it possible. Said the Tola, we recall, has a vision of blending the African culture with development without neglecting African values.